Y'all already know what it is. Sweezy Gang ENT, you already know, like I told y'all, man, we had then Blue Ray in the whole situation. But right here, this is a real situation what I'm talking about right now. It's a lot of band managers, young dudes coming up. They be reaching out to me, trying to holler at me, be like, man, Mikey, what I got to do to do this for my band? How I get on these shows, this, that, and the third. So I'm in here, I'm going to keep it 100 with y'all. I'm going to let y'all know, you know what I'm saying, the thing, what to do and what not to do. And it's not just for younger bands, it's for any band. So if niggas in the band want me to help their manager out, I'm going to help y'all the game right now because I feel like right now, for a young dude, you know what I'm saying, I didn't achieve a lot as a band manager for one year, you know what I'm saying, the time putting in work with XIB. So like I'm telling y'all right now is, man, first off, one, the first number one tip is, man, don't geek out to play on shows. This to any band, I don't care from big, small, or whatever, man, don't trip off of playing on shows, man. Worry about building your craft, building your catalog up. And when I say catalog, I mean songs. You know what I'm saying? Get your hits together, man. Make sure, you know what I'm saying, your whole craft is sharp and it's polished. So when you on shows, it don't matter who you got to play in front of, who you got to play after. Man, that's a lot of motherfucking bands out here. You got to make sure you stand out from everybody else. Why geek out to play on a nigga's show for five, ten minutes? What you and your band members get out of it? Especially if you live in the city and you got to come all the way out water. Or you live all the way out water and you got to come all the way out of the city to play for 10, 15 minutes. That shit ain't worth your time or worth your band time. You know what I'm saying? You got to keep it 100. You got to know how to grind. And this whole grinding thing to it is you just got to make sure you stay focused and everybody in your band on the same page. So band managers, band lead talkers, you got to let your band know, man. Nah, man. O10, we ain't tripping on playing on that nigga show. If we can't play on it, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? We're going to grind. We're going to make a better studio CD next time. Because when you build your buzz up, you want a promoter to call you. You don't want to call a promoter. And you know what I'm saying? This is from a nigga who come in from learning the game from out the jump. I just jumped into the game. You know what I'm saying? A Showtime asked me, man, can you, can you manage our band? I said, all right, fuck it. Never managed a band a day in my life. But I'm telling y'all, that's how you do it. I ain't call no promoter and be like, man, I want to play on this show. Every promoter that they was dealing with, I told them niggas to take us off the shows. Because at the time, they didn't want to pay our sound. So you saying, saying, from last November, from a nigga not wanting to pay your sound, to right now, and nigga, I'm smacking heads. I'm getting paid a lot more than a lot of the big niggas in the game. That's not to brag. That's just to let you know if you stay focused and you grind, you're going to get your bread. There's no purpose of rushing. What I had to rush for? I got plenty of time. Where we going? We ain't going nowhere. We doing this to make sure we getting the chicken. That's it. That's the only reason what we doing it for. You know what I'm saying? You make you do the music to make your fans happy, and you do that the money thing to make your band successful, make everybody in your band feel comfortable and feel like it's worth their time. So like I tell all bands right now, O10 and beyond, y'all need to stay focused on, man, I'm not tripping on playing on this show. And this something more for the bigger bands who geek to play on shows with 20 other bands. For what? It's bands you've been out for five, six years. Why the hell you want to play for 10, 15 minutes? That shit ain't cool. You can't, you know what I'm saying? You can't even get off all your new shit and your old shit because you rushing. You know what I'm saying? Who the hell want to rush? Everybody should want to play. If you've been out for a couple of years and you know you got your music and got your hits together, you should at least want to play for 45 minutes. And that's not even including your setup. You get what I'm saying? That's how I deal with my show. So any band who calling me, man, don't call me. Let me call you. You get what I'm saying? Let me sit here and be like, I mean, I feel like they putting in grind, they buzzing, people in the streets fucking with them. I think they can bring a crowd. Because if you can't bring a crowd, why should a nigga want to pay your sound system? Why should a nigga want to do anything, you know what I'm saying, with you or for you? For real, for real. Besides just, man, I'll put them on the show and see if they can bring some people. That's it. All you're doing is taking up space on the fly. You should sit here and want to be like, man, when I play, I want at least 100 people in the crowd. You get what I'm saying? So like I'm telling y'all, 2010, man, stay focused. Don't rush to play in shows. Build your craft up. Get your grind up. So then some of y'all might be like, all right, Mikey, if I'm not going to play on shows, then what do I do? Man, like I said, get your hits together. When you get your hits and you got songs that people like and you pushing them to the people on your internet and on the streets, giving out your CDs, doing whatever, trust and believe it's going to come back on private parties. When you get your private parties, man, stack that money, put it up, save it. Get more practice time in. You know what I'm saying? We practicing like three times a week. Some days out of that three times a week, we might be playing, practicing for three hours a day. You get what I'm saying? Holidays come in, we practicing through the whole holiday if we not playing. And that's from a band that, that some people might think we made it. We ain't make it yet because we not at that level to the point where we can pack the CFE all by ourselves with just us. You get what I'm saying? So my thing to everybody is that you got to grind hard to shine hard. That's it. You get what I'm saying? So you make them hits, you get them private parties together. When you get your private parties together, stack your money up and try to throw your own shows. Man, get a small spot like the VFW or some anywhere. Just work your way up. Any spot you can find to build your fan base. The biggest thing is to build your fan base. Not to play on a million shows with 20 other bands because you never building your fan base. You sharing a fan with this fan, that fan, and that fan, and the third. You don't want to be to the point where you're playing 18 and over and you still got to play on 20 shows on an 18 and over with 20 bands. You want that point to your wishes. You and your band and your fans. That's it. Ain't nobody in between. Ain't nothing in the middle. You, your fans, and your band. That's it. 
And I guarantee you'll see a lot more success. You worry about you and your fans instead of worrying about, oh, I got to be better than this band. I got to hit this song better than that band. If you got your own fans, it don't matter. You can hit the same song every band in the world hit, but your fans will love your music and the way you hit it regardless. It don't matter if you got the worst one. If they your fans, they going to love the way you hit your music. So I'm trying to tell y'all, man, just stay focused, man. Bam, stop hating on each other. Stop down talking the next man. Make sure that your craft is on point and your fan base on the one. Your fan base on the one, it don't matter where you play it on a lineup. It don't matter where you play it. They're going to follow you from Waldorf to D.C., from D.C. to V.A. to Baltimore to Atlanta. And that's just real shit. Man, we went down to the A and fucked that joint up. I apologize to the fans. I ain't had a camera. I slipped. I bullshit. Lost the old one. Had to get the new one. Like I told y'all, we Blu-ray HD now. So fuck with me. Like I said, man, this is words to all the bands. I'm just telling y'all niggas to stay focused, grind, stay humble, man. Y'all, everybody can talk their shit because you feel like you put in the work and you, you know what I'm saying, you make a successful power move. Man, talk your shit, be happy. For all the bands out there, man, I want every band to try this year, 2010, man. Try to at least throw one of your own shows as your band is the headline band. Every band, from the smallest nigga to the biggest nigga, man, just try your hand. And if you're not the headline band, try to at least put yourself to the spot where... You could be the band next to the headline band. Trust and believe. You go back, man. Look at the old Sweezy Gang Flowers. We worked our way up to where we at right now. We ain't rushing. Man, we used to do shows, and they was our shows. TCB, TOB, XIB. We worked our way up. But we'd do TCB reaction. Whoever the case may be, to build our fan base up off of the bands who already been established and bigger than what we was at. It was even to the point where I done, done like our first run in my birthday. It was TCB, ABM, All Stars, and a rock of other niggas. And we was probably playing like first or second. But at the end of the day, we knew where we stood and where we had to move our way up. You got to respect the game, man. I'm trying to tell everybody, like I said, 2010, make sure you stay on your grind, man. Try to do your own shows. Just work hard. Keep it, man. This for anybody, whoever watching this video, Slim. If you feel like you ain't catch enough off of what I'm telling you right now, my number, 301. 257-3225, man. Hit me up, man. But watch the video first before you hit my phone because I, hopefully I answered enough questions that a lot of y'all been asking me. But like I tell any band, man, just grind first. Fuck the shows. Grind hard. Get your hits. Get your catalog together. Every band should want to be able to say, man, I can rock out for 45 minutes easy with no problem. So like I told y'all, man, it's Sweezy Gang TV. Stay tuned. Keep watching. We're going to do what we do. HD, Blu-ray, all day long.